Selling Sunset. We could watch Emily in Paris last season, which didn't come out, which is a great show. When Ryan premieres, there's no competition. So to be number one in all the countries, yeah, well, that's kind of what's expected. Netflix is in every country and you're premiering on it. Has anyone ever seen two Netflix shows premiere at the same day? Because I haven't. So when you premiere, you're number one or number three or whatever. And a lot of things, because it's just you, it's the new drop. I agree with you about Ryan's show. I know everyone loves it, but I'm not so sure anyone else is watching it either. I completely Maybe. agree with you. It might have gotten a season two because maybe it was negotiated that way. Like salaries were super low in order to like give it a second go and then, you know, see what happens from there, which is what happened with buying Beverly Hills. And I think our audience is super smart. I think people are getting very savvy to this, but you know, Netflix and Hulu, they, they just control their own algorithm. So if they want to make a show, number one, they make a show number one. We don't see the back end. It's why now Chris and Kim go, oh, Hulu, we're the most watched reality show on Hulu. Okay, well, let's see the numbers. Let's see the numbers from five years. They'll never show. They're never going to show you what does that. that mean? The most never, watched exactly. reality show this week, this month, yeah. this year, or forever since the day one that Hulu turned on the lights. I'd like to know what comes after that. Please. And, 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 you know, and look, I think, I think when they have that top 10, probably it is driven, but you don't know whether... Uh, 600,000 people tuned in or 200,000 people tuned in. You, you really don't know. So yeah, it's, it's over for the ratings for that. And, um, and by the way, um, this was the season, right? Because we all started the season yeah. saying, wow, I think you, the direct quote from Sarah Fraser was, we learned more about Kyla Mauricio from buying Beverly Hills than we did from the Real Housewives of uh, Beverly Hills. So if this wasn't the breakout season, when Mo was spilling his guts about the dissolution of his 27-year marriage to Miss Richards, uh, it ain't going to fly next season because we don't got, I mean, what, we're going to follow him dating this model? Oh, geez. You're 57 years old. You're famous. You are filthy fucking rich and you're good looking and you have a decent body for your age. Uh, shocker that you're dating a 33 year old as Melissa Rivers. And I talked about the last time we were together. She's like, I'm just shocked. The girl wasn't 23. I'm like, I get it. So there's nothing there. That's not really a story that Mo is diddling and daddling with his new girlfriend uh, who's 33 and a model. No shocker. So it's over. I like real estate shows. I wish you the best of luck, Mo. Drew Sidora ain't having such a great moment either. Uh, she is uh, being accused of fraud and her ex-hairstylist is basically like, bitch, pay. And, uh, you know, this isn't the first time we've heard that Drew doesn't pay her bills. It was a storyline at RHOA um, last season and the season before. She's thought this one comes for this. And there's just these rumors that Drew does not pay her bills. And I always feel where there's smoke, there's fire. I have been out with hundreds of housewives, dinners, drinks, this, that I am telling you, I've never... In, with a couple exceptions, listen, I gotta, I gotta be honest. Everyone thinks I'm on her payroll now. When I was friends with Margaret, Margaret actually, I, I, look, I have to be honest. She pays. She pays at least for herself. Margaret paid for me quite a few times. Very generous. I, I'm not such a fan of hers. Um, that's but nice, dear, because you're you, what you're getting at is that most of the time you go out with these housewives and you pay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can go on, oh, the night we're here in Atlantic City and everyone went to bed. And of course, the only two people up are the two fucking Alkies, David Yontef and Sonia Morgan. And we're in Atlantic City. At the, and I mean, this woman. Well, yeah, we know more. We know Morgan can't pay. Yeah, well, we she I mean, but you know what? At least at so least go through the motion. Look, if I do an in studio, if I'm in studio in New York or in LA and you come to my studio and we record an episode of my podcast and you say, I don't send a car or anything like that, but if you say, do you want to grab a drink? Do you want to grab a lunch? Whatever it is, I will always 100% pay. I, that's how I was raised. If you come to my house here in New York, I live in a hotel or residence. If you come here and you want to go downstairs and we're going to drink in you know, the, the hotel bar, it's on me. I have a house account. It's just, I feel like it's an extension of my house. If you come to my studio and you record, Melissa, Stu, I mean, I go to them. But, you know, whoever it is, 
I feel like we're going out to dinner afterwards. I feel really weird ask, splitting the check. Short of that, when you're Sonia, I'm like, I don't, why am I? I mean, just sits there and she is not alone. They, these housewives do not reach for a, it's just expected. I've seen them expect. I love it. Comps. Like I, I this like isn't that. like in my head. I have physically been there. Pick a franchise. I have seen it. So what was my fucking point? Uh, I mean, Drew, just add you to the list. Just it's this doesn't shock me. But this I like to me, this wasn't even his story. I actually should have just reshared him because I'm like, yeah, I uh, I completely believe that you haven't been paid, sir. And I feel bad for you. Um, and I'm trying to think of DC stories because, you know, I was in DC for yeah. years. So RHOP. I'm trying to think of any Cabral. There. This is the same thing with a hairstylist. I mean, but this. This queen, and I am here for this queen. She is not going down without a fight, girl. She is like, and then someone else chimed in and said, oh, she didn't pay you too. Or maybe that was the hair. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Anything with a uh, Hugo or Jizzy Jizz or uh, Michael Dobby. Does he like to pay his bills, that Dobby? Or does he expect that uh, to puff his, does he puff his like chest as the big, big man on campus over there? I don't, I feel like Darby pays for himself. Like I always, I always feel like when I've been out with them, they pay for themselves. Well, that's a step in this. You know, I'm not asking you to take me out, Sonia, or any of the others. I have a, I have a, I, I can pay. And it's not he, even the Samuel's money. It's very generous, but she was very generous. Um, really? It's like, at least make the effort, reach for a wallet, pay. But it's not, it's like, wait a second. This, fill, fill in the blank. You could pick anyone. Uh, she's outside. She's like, outside so she's clearly not paying because she's like walked away from the damn table and i guess we're going now and oh the bill is 6 75 for the 13 rounds and the other housewife sat down and okay yeah i got it great they don't it's i've never seen anything like it never i oh my god i aspire to be that way i'm always so like i always want to pay my share and um that's such a horrible i really have got to get no i'm i'm pretty good at paying my share too. I feel, I feel weird. Otherwise I really do. I really do. I feel weird. Like if I owe someone money and I have to them no. know that might take me a few days, like, you know, just to do the process of it. Uh, I have designers here in New York that uh, I think are going to show up at my front door tomorrow because like, I have to go through the bill before I pay them the final thing. And I think they're like, you're a deadbeat, which I'm not. I just haven't had a chance to get to it, but I am the same way. I feel very weird. Like if just, I feel weird. I feel like I owe you now. So I like to pay my bills, but uh, right. Is this a story? Maybe we'll see it on RHOA. I feel bad for him. He seems like a small business owner and yeah, she stiffed him on a lot of things. So I hope he gets his money very hard. It's so hard too, when it's like, it, you know, it's a significant amount of money for your small business. It's probably like 15, 20 K, but it's like almost not enough 